Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kim Martin Cross Nation. And for today's episode, I just wanted to give a quick update to you guys because I know a lot of people are not going to have realized this. Um, I didn't realize this until someone in my party pointed it out. But as you can probably tell just from like the title or thumbnail of this video, there's actually a greater benefit towards being a female within the game than there is towards being a male within the game. Uh, and this has to do solely in the aspect of perks, okay? And for the sake of this video anyways, we're going to be focusing solely on skill perks. Uh, now, looking at the end game real quick. Um, as of right now, this is my male version of the character and I have for males anyways I currently have the max of plus 38 skill perk okay however however uh, one thing I didn't realize until just recently I didn't find out anyways until my party member told me was that the female version of the game the max skill perk for females is actually plus 41 instead of plus 38 uh, now no, just recently we got the new uh, fairy wings which provide a plus nine back skill perk which is currently the highest amount of skill perk you can have on the back uh however the main thing that's worth noting is that the the reason why there's like a plus three difference and a plus three difference realistically isn't that much of a difference um on any type of skill with like a 54 percent chance for example like triple threat two for example you're only talking about like a like a one percent difference or so one or two percent difference in terms of like how better how much better it is but for those of us that are trying to be competitive like we want every extra edge that we can get so uh even myself i've been wearing the female version when i want to use skill perks uh, as of lately um but in case you're curious as to what exactly is providing the extra skill perks i just want to point out real quick uh the first one being the kingdom Hearts 2 olette necklace actually provides one extra skill perk compared to the male version if we look at the male version real quick um for us the uh the chest area okay for us we only have like the dolls in terms of providing skill perks and they only provide plus six okay as you can see right here i have like the mogul doll charity doll abu doll like there's just a tons of dolls okay i like wearing the mogul doll um but for females they can actually wear the oops they can actually wear the olet necklace instead uh in that slot which actually provides just plus one extra perk the other accessory provides plus two extra perk for uh to reach the plus 41 is actually going to be the kingdom Hearts 2 tifa earrings as well it's at plus eight the only thing that we have for males is just going to be the regular like snow mickey earrings for example or peter pan earrings just basically any earrings for males only provides plus six uh which is worth noting well and i figured that was just worth mentioning to you guys especially for those amongst you that are competitive uh just because of the fact that i found this interesting and i want i wanted as much of a competitive edge uh, as possible uh myself so i can only imagine that there's probably a lot of you out there who want the same thing too but other than that if you enjoyed the episode please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button it is the best way i know when i upload more videos such as this one go ahead and let me know what your thoughts are about the subject down in the comment section down below but other than that, my name is Brian from Kinemar Team Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.